Today we have a review of Flact AI. So this is another AI content generator in my content generator review series. I'm going to see how this one uh, fares in terms of its performance, how good its output is, how easy is it to use, how well does it handle complex topics. I'm really trying to find the best deal to recommend to you guys in 2022. So I want to know how this one stacks up. I think the value is there, $59 lifetime deal and the very uh, generous limit of 100,000 characters per month. So about 20,000 words per month you can generate using this lifetime deal. So the value is solid, but the important thing is how good is it in terms of its output quality? How easy is it to use? How well does it handle complex topics and how long does it take to generate content using this tool? So that's what I'm going to focus on. There's obviously a link in the description to the deal if you're interested, but let's focus on testing this software out. So if all this sounds interesting, make sure you keep watching this one right to the end. I'm Alex from Ideaspot. Let's get started. So logging into our dashboard, this is what it looks like. There's four main tools here. The main one being the flat canvas. So this is your text editor, which is AI powered. So you can generate articles uh, using this tool. So this is the main tool we're gonna use today. There is the Flack Writer, which is your typical list of small tools that you can generate little pieces of content like Facebook posts, um, core answers, these kind of ideas and uh, there's quite a few of those. I'm not going to go into all of those today. I'm going to mostly focus on this one. There's a little email generator here and a summarizer, which is interesting. You can take a big block of text or a URL, summarize it into dot points, which is quite interesting as well. Not many AI softwares have this feature, but this is probably the most important one. So I'm going to focus on this one. So let's head to our flat canvas and check this one out. So we're in our canvas and this is what it looks like. The first time you log in, you will see a guide on how to use it. There's a video here and if there's a few shortcut keys that are worth learning here. Compose, command, expand and rephrase. We'll use those in a bit. Uh, you can also highlight text and it will show you some of those shortcuts as well. So that's what we'll be using when we draft our article. There's also your form here that we fill in to get started generating our article. So let's get started generating an article. All right, the topic I like to test our AI software with is this watch called the Vostok Amphibia. I own one of these and it is a fairly interesting topic. It's quite a specific topic, so I think it's good to test an AI to see how well they do when they have to really stay on topic when the topic is very specific. It has a few interesting features. It has an interesting history, and it's quite affordable as well. So it has some good selling points. Let's see how the AI does when it's trying to address the Vostok Amphibia in terms of trying to, say, make a product review for the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch. So let's see how we go. First thing I'll do is just blank the canvas here and start from scratch. And let's fill in our form here. All right, so I'll fill this in with a title and a description. Let's head to templates now. So our list of templates here, we've got our blog ideas, titles, description, outline, intro, sentence to paragraph and outro. So let's start with our title and put in Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch Review. And you can choose, you can generate up to three variations. So let's see what it comes up with for title ideas. All right, so looking at these samples, a couple of them aren't really on point. The first one is okay. Maybe I need to add a bit more to the description here. So let's help the AI out a little bit and say the main point here is Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch Review, a great mechanical dive watch under $70. Let's compose again. All right, so let's see how it's done here. So Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch Review, a rugged and affordable diver. So that's not bad. Um, battery life, water resistant, that's not great. And 10 reasons to make a Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch your next dive watch overview. So that is kind of workable and this one is quite good as well. Let's just go with this one. I'm gonna go with this as our title. The next thing I want is just an outline of how the post is gonna look. So let's go with a blog outline here and let's compose some variations and see what we get. So looking at these, the first one has got five dot points basically. Um, these are fairly basic. This one, this one's a bit better. You've got a uh, detailed review, history, technical specifications, cost, and conclusion. So that's pretty good. Um, what do we got here? Introduction, design and features, pros and cons, comparison with other watches. Now, this is kind of good. We can actually add the ones that we like. So I like this one. This one's actually pretty cool as well. Um, I think that one was an interesting idea, comparison with other watches in the price range. Um, maybe that's better here. Cool, so let's, let's go with this as our outline. All right, so now we can look at um, blog intro. Let's see what we get for our blog intro ideas. So just quickly looking at these, you've got three suggestions here and I definitely prefer the first one. So I'm just gonna go choose that one. So basically 
just choose the one you prefer. Sometimes they're very different. You might want to even add both of these to the um, to the canvas. So you can add content as you like, obviously. Now just fact check these. Sometimes it uh, does make errors. So this says it's a Swiss made watch, but this is a Russian made watch. So I'll just delete out anything that's inaccurate. Um, also, I just noticed it cut off the sentence there. So I'm just going to trim that down. So this is actually okay and usable now. So this is, is our intro. Let's move it up to the top here. Now let's start working away at point one here. So what I'm going to do here is actually try out the compose tool. So you can shortcut with control enter to start composing extra text with AI under the section that you're writing. So let's try that out here. I might just remove the number one there so it doesn't start creating another list. And let's go ahead, press control enter, see what it writes for me here. So I quite like this stuff here. This looks like it's more about the specification. So I might actually put that in the specifications section. Um, but this is all right. Sometimes it does need a little bit of editing. So this sentence is a little bit clunky. Um, you could get a green watch face with an orange or blue face. Um, you could get a green watch face or an orange or blue face. Uh, there are a lot of options. Another thing we can do is our sentence to paragraph tool here. So we can actually take a sentence that we like, pop that in here, and we can compose some more variations. Again, just go through the samples and choose the one that you prefer. I like the third one here, so I'm going to add that one in here. Let's come down the bottom, so pop it up here. Again, these always require a little bit of editing and fact checking. So it's not made of polyurethane. I'll just say is made of durable stainless steel material. And some of the wording I might change a little bit. So rather than saying intricate detail, I'd say interesting. Interesting. So this paragraph generator is actually doing a decent job. It's getting about 70 words per sample and you're getting three samples. So it's just spitting out about 200 words in one click here, which is pretty handy. The quality here is, is reasonable. I think this is above average actually. So this is not too bad. I actually kind of prefer using this sentence to paragraph tool than using the um, composer, like when you press control enter. Let's do that again. Um, the compose tool when you press control enter and it'll just start scrolling text onto the screen here. So I think this content isn't actually quite as good as this content that it comes up with here. And I like being able to choose which one I prefer rather than just getting um, something that here where I decide, okay, do I like it or not? Um, yeah, this is this is not as good as as these. So for some reason, I think this content generator is more effective than the one in the canvas here. If I was actually just to take this heading and paste it in here and then get some variations composed, I think this would actually do better. So looking at this, yeah, this is great. This is um, good little bit of history. Uh, this one is good history. Yeah, this is cool. Um, you do have to fact check when AI writers come up with specifications and history details because it's not always true what they come up with, but actually the wording and the flavor is quite cool here. So I'm going to actually put that in. You can always bring up um, Wikipedia to just double check names and dates, those important details. So um, founded in 1942 is the correct year. Um, it's not wasn't by Victor Schauberger. I'll just delete that part. And the Vostok dive watch came in the 60s, not the 50s. Um, I'll just clean up the end here and I'll just call it Navy Divers. There we go. Cool. The other tool that might be useful here is the expand tool because this is talking about our um, history very specifically. So if we want to just expand on that history, let's see what we get. Um, yeah, I don't know. A lot of this stuff is not relevant or not true, and so much of it's not true. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, none of that's good. Okay, forget about that. So what I'm noticing, I'm definitely getting better content from the form here than I am from the inline editor. So that's interesting, but I mean, this content is pretty cool. So I'm, I'm still pretty happy with how this is progressing. So I can just press Control Z and get that paragraph back to how it was before. That's no problem. So I'm just going to leave it as this. And for our specs and features, I just want to use this method and just say Volstock Amphibia specifications and features. What I might actually do is put the main keyword right at the front of that description here, Volstock Amphibia specifications and features. Let's compose three variants. 
All right, so just looking at these, I think I prefer this sample number two paragraph here. I'm going to pop that in. There we go. I think the second part is better. This this top paragraph is duplicating it, this second one, so I'm just going to delete that top one and just double check the facts here. So 330 feet is actually 660 feet, and that is a 200 meter depth rating. It has an acrylic crystal and steel bezel. Well, aluminium, yeah, aluminium. And it trails off at the end here. Um, we want it to say dive time. Um, rubber strap, it also has a steel strap. So, or, or rubber strap or steel options. That's cool. Okie dokie. All right, so comparison with other watches. Let's do that. Vostok Amphibia, comparison with other watches. How does it compare? So let's see. This is a very tricky little concept. I wonder how well the AI can actually handle this. So, yeah doesn't actually address the competition with other watches so anyway let's just put in maybe one of these paragraphs here actually I think I prefer the first sample let's go with the first sample there um, you'd actually have to know other watches in the price range I think let's let's think about say the Seiko 5 as a comparison so let's say Vostok Amphibia um, comparison with Seiko 5. Let's see what we get there. So I think this is a little bit too difficult. I think you've hit the limit of what this AI can actually do because these paragraphs, you know, they read okay, but they don't really address the comparison that well. So maybe if I reword it, let's be a bit more clear. Vostok Amphibia versus Seiko 5, why the Vostok Amphibia is best. So if we were writing about this and we'd want to focus on why this one is a little better, what its selling point is. So let's, let's see if we got it. Um, yeah. All right, so I mean, it might be slightly better, but I think this concept is a little bit too difficult for an AI. I think you've got to keep it quite general and on topic for it to give you decent content. So I might actually just move this sentence up to the history because I think, or the introduction, because it was useful um, maybe actually for our introduction here. There we go. And the other thing, whoop, I think I accidentally hit compose there. So let's, let's just remove that out. All right, so I'm going to add that as a, um, make that into a heading, make this into a heading. I think we're pretty close to our finishing this up. Let's look at our conclusion here. So purchasing the watch conclusion. Let's do that. Lost again, Fibia, purchasing the watch conclusion. So our last one was purchasing the watch. So maybe this may be purchasing the Vostok Amphibia dive watch is better here. So let's put that in. Um, purchasing the Vostok Amphibia dive. I noticed it's important to put the keywords in our sentence to paragraph creator here. So I don't really like these outputs. What I might change it is to how to buy, how to buy. Let's see what we get. Again, this doesn't really address how to buy it. I think maybe I just need to say you can buy it on Amazon or Merinom, so I'm going to actually put that in. So I've been very specific here, and let's see if we can actually get something usable out of this. So the third one's actually decent. I can actually use that as my conclusion. Um, there we go. Let's just pop that in there. That's okay. Um, the only thing is, this is a, not a Swiss-made movement. It's like, I'm going to say it's a rugged Russian made movement in the Vostok Amphibia watch. This is about the specifications again, so I can delete that out. But again, I think we're pretty much done here with a simple uh, review for this watch. I think this is a fairly difficult topic and I think this is performed above average. Like it does require editing and fact checking. I think for a simple topic, if you're just talking about fashion or food or um, diet and exercise, I think it does easily better than this. But um, as you get more technical, um, it becomes a little bit more work. So what have I got here? We can actually look at our stats here and we can see we've got nearly 600 words. The readability is good in the eighth and ninth grade and uh, three minute read time. So this is pretty good. Now, before I wrap this up, I want to look at the actual summarizer tool here. So there's three ways of doing the summary. You can put in a URL and just paste the URL into our summarizer and it will generate a bunch of dot points. Um, so I might actually try that we can grab an existing blog post about the same topic here and just pop that URL in and then summarize. So I think what we've got here is like a 
know, two or three thousand word post and it's just taken it down and, and made some dot points here so you can actually get a feel for um, what a big long piece of text is um, rather than reading the whole thing rather than reading for 20 minutes you might only have to read for for two minutes so this is useful if you're doing research or homework or if you just have to do a lot of reading in your job and you just want to do less reading like we all want to do less reading you can choose you can summarize it down to 20 percent this is actually quite good for using news i actually tested it on a on a news article here um, on the australian broadcasting network news it's just an article about the world's biggest water skiing record and um that a really did a really good job i think a lot of times news these days is very fluffy and if you wanted to do research or summarize things then this is a quicker way of reading things so this is an interesting tool but um, you'd be careful about using this as your own content you'd want to maybe because this is copied verbatim from the article you'd want to reword that or just paste that into a sentence to paragraph generator use the key sentences and you could generate your own article from these dot points so that might be another way of creating some good content but overall, in conclusion, I think this Canvas editor is a nice interface to work with. These templates are fairly good. Uh, I like the sentence to paragraph one and the intro one. I got good results from using those two particularly. Um, even with a fairly difficult and specific topic, it came up with solid content for the most part. Sometimes the samples weren't relevant, but it's good to have three samples. So you can actually um, choose for yourself or maybe choose multiple samples if you like multiple results but overall i think the content that it creates the quality is a little bit better than average it's definitely better than some of the ones i've tested like typely or um, ai seo that um, the generation from them wasn't able to handle this topic very well at all um, so this is a little bit above average but you still sometimes will need to play around with your input um, to generate the, the correct output so it can be a little bit time consuming in, in that regard so it, it did take like 20 25 minutes to generate this i think for simple topics it'll probably be quicker but um, a difficult topic will take a bit longer in terms of its value 59 dollars lifetime deal on AppSumo. i think that's pretty solid you get i think it's a hundred thousand characters per month i only noticed um, english when i was setting this up but it says there's 10 languages coming soon so i'd look forward to that i don't know how long that is in the future but um, I don't know what the actual 10 languages are so they should probably mention that somewhere I wonder if they do so let's say if they no they don't mention French or anything on here but um, hopefully they come out with that language support soon but 20,000 words a month is pretty solid for for that price and that's for a lifetime deal so um, 60 day money back guarantee so that is good no matter the reason so I like that they really stand behind their product the other thing is they do have a free trial on the website as well so if you're concerned about um, writing the topic that you're specifically writing about in your field you can test it out and see um, what your results are before you go ahead and buy it so I think it's fairly risk-free in terms of um, any reason money back guarantee free trial um you can like as i said for this topic i think this was right on the limit of about what it can handle but overall um this is an above average product i think um i will be trying some more products out over the next few days um, a lot of you have asked for uh word hero i've also got kateb and um uh, content forge on my list of things to look at as well so look forward to those hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you can see when those ones pop up as well but thanks for watching i'll see you next time